Well, I think the, the biggest trend, uh, and you know, Aon's in the center of this, is that we have structurally moved into a period where the industry will have excess capital. It, and, and it's largely driven by um, the world is awash in capital, and so places that historically have not necessarily wanted to put capital to work in, in, in the insurance industry, sovereign wealth funds, hedge funds, pension funds, have all started to look at, at insurance as an asset class that they want to invest in. And there's examples that are as extreme as, for example, CPPIB, which is the largest Canadian pension fund that's made direct investments in insurance businesses to companies you know, investing in sidecars and ILS and, and, and other types of vehicles. And that's a structural change. And so that basically means that the industry is going to have capital that's willing to take risk as long as somebody can originate it, understand it, price it, and present it to the market. So the more that you can actually start to understand the risk, the easier it is to start to price it and, you know, and select risk and so forth. I think a great example is uh, certainly something that Aon sees every day is just what's happening in contingent business interruption, right? So the more that you can start to understand all the elements of what's happening in the supply chain, it becomes a lot easier to start to underwrite that particular domain of risk. And I just think that what we're going to see is in category after category after category, information availability will make the ability to be able to understand risk that much greater. And then it's really up to the industry to step forward and say, hey, listen, we're, our job here is not about writing the same risk over and over and over. It's about the underinsured and the new insurer, uh, the new exposure that we need to be able to insure. And I just think that there's new categories of data that's starting to become available as a, role, as a result of a broader sort of digital transformation that's happening in our economy. Traditional methods of trying to take, you know, lots of data and make sense of it, um, it's still valid, but the developments of what's happening in, in AI and machine learning, and, and I definitely think the tools that are happening, that are being developed and deployed commercially around machine learning are, are rather democratized in terms of who can use them. I, I really think it's the convergence of those two things that are particularly interesting. And now as you're presented with very large, um, very complex uh, sets of data, you know, it is, it is the case that machine learning um, is just simply a, a technology that's superior to some of the traditional technologies, um, you know, generalized linear regression models and so forth in terms of making sense of it. And so in that regard, it's a really nice convergence around what we can do to understand risk as new information is being presented.